And finally, to our special segment, Resurgent Africa. Amid the coups and the crises, there are many positive stories from Africa that often get overlooked, but not on this show. Our story today is from Tunisia, where a group of scientists and engineers are racing against time to protect the lungs of the Mediterranean from severe threat of climate change. Their aim is to safeguard the Pasadena Oceanica, an endangered but vital plant for the future generations. Our next story tells uh, how the North African country of Tunisia is protecting and maintaining marine health. In the Mediterranean Sea, a vital ecosystem is battling for survival. The endangered Posidonia Oceanica, often called the lungs of the Mediterranean, is under severe threat from climate change. Rising sea temperatures and coastal human activities are adding to a list of unprecedented challenges it faces. But a local team of scientists and engineers from Tunisia is on a mission to protect it. Poseidonia is known primarily for being the lungs of the Mediterranean Sea because it is a major source of oxygen and absorbs carbon dioxide, meaning it attracts a lot of carbon, which is a problem we currently face. It also serves as a food source for marine organisms, where fish spawn and seek refuge from predators. It's a crucial habitat for various animals and organisms. This unique seagrass, often mistaken as waste, is native to the Mediterranean and it plays a vital role in maintaining marine health and combating climate change. It's important to note that Poseidonia oceanica is a species specific to the Mediterranean Sea, making it a unique feature of our sea. In Tunisia, we have more than 50% of the Poseidonia found in the entire Mediterranean. Many people do not realize that Poseidonia is not waste, because it plays a role both when alive and when dead. Like any sea plant, in autumn its leaves fall, and when they wash ashore, they become substrates. People sometimes mistakenly refer to this as waste, but these leaves have a specific role in protecting the sea from erosion. Posidonia is a major source of oxygen. It is also a source of food for marine organisms where fish spawn and seek refuge from predators. But its importance extends far beyond the local marine ecosystem. Scientists say it absorbs carbon dioxide three times more effectively than tropical forests. Posidonia in the Monastir Bay and Kuriat Islands can store over 350 tons of carbon per hectare. Poseidonia provides invaluable environmental services, particularly in climate regulation. It has a significant ability to store carbon, especially organic carbon, which surpasses even the Amazon rainforest's carbon storage capacity. According to the latest study by Notre Grand Blue, on Poseidonia plant in the Monaster Bay and the Kuriat Islands, it has a storage capacity exceeding 350 tons per hectare. In Tunisia, an environmental science and education group, the Notre Grand Bleu Association, is striving to protect and restore this vital marine plant. They are working to preserve it through passive restoration by monitoring its developments and active restoration by cultivation. Today, we monitored a site where Poseidonia was cultivated as part of the MERM project. Due to the risks threatening it, we also set up markers for the maximum extent of Poseidonia close to the shore. Additionally, we collected blue carbon samples to assess the capacity of Poseidonia to store organic carbon. To preserve this system, which is of great importance, we must focus on both passive restoration through sustainable monitoring of Poseidonia's issues and active restoration through cultivating Poseidonia. This effort should be supported by a team of scientists and experts in the field, similar to the project carried out by the association Azrakna Al-Kabir, with its partners under the MERM project. The Notre Grand Blue Association and its partners have planted 1,000 square meters of Posidonia underwater for scientific experimentation. They are closely monitoring its progress. 
One of the risks facing Posidonia is climate change or global warming, which means the seawater is heating up. Like any species, Posidonia has ideal conditions for growth. If it encounters temperatures within its optimal range, it grows well and performs its functions effectively. However, due to global warming, the water is warming beyond these conditions, causing problems for Posidonia. This could potentially lead to its extinction. Unlike many Western countries, Tunisia does not have specific laws to protect these underwater ecosystems. So, conservation efforts like these are extremely crucial, especially as climate change continues to threaten the lungs of the Mediterranean. Climate change is on our doorstep. It's time for a revolution to take root. And it starts with 1.4 billion Indians. It starts with one tree. One tree for humanity. One tree for Mother Earth. One tree for our future. Project One Tree, a News 18 network initiative.